Hi, Sizzlin' Stampers. Shannon here, your Sizzlin' Stamper, bringing you some fun Halloween curbside kits for my local library group. So, <clears throat> first of all, let's go through what you have in your kit, and then we will do the two projects, which I hope you're liking these. They're kind of like the Scaredy, Black, Scaredy and Black Cat theme for your projects this month. So, you will have a mini 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 coffee cup uh, with the lid and you have four Swedish fish I picked those because you know cats like little fish but you could fill it with whatever you know treat that you like so that's already filled for you in your kit just like so you can add more to it take it out switch it whatever you want you will also have a piece of our fancy blingy black glitter paper that's cut like a wrap and we're gonna we're going to be adjusting that you will have an a part of a black envelope <clears throat> a half of an envelope and you're gonna see that you have this little strip that is the other extra piece of the envelope from the half down to make it fit with a four by four layer on top of this you will need this we will use that I like to use all pieces and not be wasteful you will have a piece of designer series paper, some form of Halloween paper. You will have two different cats. Oh, I should have brought my other ones in. So you could have my favorite little scaredy cat. You could have the deceitful black cat. You could also have the Siamese cat that, you know, those, I have never loved Siamese cats. I used to love the way they looked until I watched, I can remember as a kid, um, I watched the Aristocats and those Siamese cats on there seem to be so deceitful and evil and prankstery that I have never really liked Siamese cats ever since. And you see that I'm just sitting here while I'm talking. I'm going ahead and using my scissors to fussy cut my cats out. So you will want to cut both cats. Now, and then there's also this cute little gray striped uh, cat. And I, of course, charcoal is my favorite neutral color. And he is like a charcoal striped tabby cat. He's also very cute, but you're gonna get two different ones of those. But they all kind of say Halloween to me from the fact of either their color. This one, he looks like he's just terrified. The Siamese one just looks like they're gonna cause a problem. So you have some cats. You also have a pumpkin punch, a uh, an orange oval that's blank, and an orange oval that we're gonna stamp to a frightfully good friend on. You have a piece of our wonderful black glitter organdy ribbon, and you have some sort of twine, probably black and white, but it could be orange and white or gray and white. And then you have a gray uh, base card. So I believe I went with the darker, the charcoal gray, but mine is the slate gray tonight that I'm using. And that is cut four by four. I believe I have, oh, and the extra bonus that you guys got in your kit this month is you guys have a chalk pen. Um, it's not exactly my Stampin' Up! chalk pen, but you do have a chalk pen in your kit. So I hope you enjoy that. It's super fun. If with your chalk pen, you will need to, to get it started, you're going to need to press down. This one I've obviously already had going, but to get that ink down to the center, shake really well, probably 20 to 30 seconds, and then apply pressure on the tip on a scrap piece of paper. Once you see that chalk ink flowing, then you're good to go. And I'm just going to show you, we're going to do some fun little doodling art pieces with the chalk marker on this project. So. The first thing we're going to do, and this project, we're pro you're probably going to find that I am going to work uh, back and forth between the two projects, but I'm going to start with the card. So this card features the pull-up um, card, and you may have seen this before, but I don't believe I've done a kit for it with you guys here. 
but it's merely a card that it's kind of postcard style and you're really just going to pull it right on up and out of that envelope path. So let me get my other, let me get my little terrified scaredy cat cut out. So that might be step one, cutting out your cats, because we're going to play back and forth and see which cat do we want to land where. So step one, your glitter die cut. You're going to go ahead and cut that. It doesn't, I don't want to use my ribbon scissors for that. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but as close as you can, make sure you put a little bit of a curve in there. You're going to cut that in half just like so. Now you are going to take some, some uh, tear tape or double-sided tape or a good heavy glue. You can use a liquid glue that will work as well. I'm going to use the tear tape mainly because I want something that's going to really put a good hold on this. Get that piece off. It's crazy. And you're gonna overlap these by a little bit. So before, notice before I tape, I'm gonna come back in here and kind of just tentatively make sure that if I am overlapped from here to here, that I have enough to go around. So not quite, so I know that I'm gonna probably not adhere my tape that far down. So you're going to put your adhere, your tear tape, in fact, I'm just going to show you, put your tear tape just barely past that little cut tab. Make sure you've got it sealed on there really good. And the reason you want to use a really good adhesive is we are gluing glitter, the glitter tape to itself, the glitter paper, sorry. So I'm going to lay that over like so, trying to get those that nice and even. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put another piece of my tear tape or you'll have to lay this aside and let it dry. That's why I recommend starting with that first. And I'm going to just put, it's going to be a little bit wider. I'm going to put that tear tape there. Push it down really well and peel that Oh, my pick tool is out in my car. I, I packed early for a party and I'm realizing I don't have quite all my necessary items. Okay, so now we're going to put that together like so. And if you haven't got it exactly measured, see, like mine is too loose. So we know I'm just going to go in here real quick. That's one nice thing. I can open this back up. Once I get it where I want, about like so, not quite, you can just lay your cup and roll it onto it as well. I just like to make sure, for me, it seems to always go on easier if I know more precisely where I'm headed with the tear tape. But however that works best for you is where you want to end up going with that tear tape. And now, now you have your little, oops, wrong direction. The curve only goes on the best one direction. And I want to put that matchup seam at the back of my cup. Yes, I know I'm going to have another matchup seam at the front, but we're going to eventually cover that up. So that's your little coffee wrap. Super cute and blingy for Halloween, right? All right. If it doesn't seem to stay for you, the other thing you can do is just stick a little glue dot or something under one edge and, it, and you'll be fine. All right, so I've set my cup aside for now and I'm gonna work on my envelope and pull card part. Next step, you're gonna go ahead and glue your envelope shut. You can lick it or during COVID, you can close it with a glue stick, however you want. Make sure now you've got that nice pocket. Whatever your designer series paper, you're going to glue that whichever side you like. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to keep mine all black and white. I'm not. 
but you there's all different kinds of patterns out there so pick whichever pattern you like that you got and go with it and you're just going to kind of center it on in your um, center it over your envelope just give a little you should have enough to give a little edge of black around your paper now remember that little band on your card we're going to use that band and you will know that it's the score already fits perfectly to go around that card you don't have to measure or do anything that's what i love when things come together and in fact even on this side there's a little bit of the adhesive from there and you can put that wherever you want that's a little high actually wherever you want on your card you're going to just kind of create a little bit of a a band banded interest i guess so i'm trying to get that i want it to match up nicely with that score that's already there now you can go ahead and wrap that all the way but you will need a little piece of that black for a bit on our pumpkin in a minute so go ahead and try to even that up get that on there as nice and even as you can and now you've got that band somewhere I had a piece of that double-sided tape that didn't get, get on my project on the cup wrap it's on my finger now all right so now I've got this now you have this pumpkin shaped punch and you have an oval what we want to do is create some dimension and depth by a 3d effect with your pumpkin and the other thing you're going to look for is whatever cat you're using how do you want them to appear with your pumpkin so this is where you're going to have to play around a little bit and it's kind of like charlie brown in the great pumpkin this pumpkin is going to look big and powerful and very Halloweeny. So whether you have the black cat and you want it to be like he's creeping up on the pumpkin, whether you want to put your little cat down there, whether you have the Siamese and you want him to be kind of pushing off of it, or you might hide part of your cat with the pumpkin. You could have, um, you know, you could have the pumpkin like so. You're going to want to play with that a little bit before you start gluing on your pumpkin. And your other cat is going to end up being on your uh, cup over here, okay? So your other cat. So that's kind of where you want to look at which cat do I want where. So for me, I'm going to do my, I think I'm going to do my scaredy cat on my cup. So I'm going to lay him aside. We'll go back to him in a minute. So now I can just kind of play and think, what do I want that to look like? Your pumpkin can go above your band or behind it. I like it above because it's really going to show off that three-dimensional shape when we start in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start by gluing the base of the pumpkin punch down. Now, if you have dimensionals, I highly recommend that you use them for this project, but you can still get a dimensional look even if you just have to glue the oval on flat. Hmm. So let's see here what we have going on. Okay. And you will note that part of that oval is coming down and part of it's going above that. And that's how I want it. If you don't like it, you can always take your little scissors and you can come in and cut a little bit of it out like so. Um, but I don't really mind it. I'm going to, but just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and cut. Whoops. A little bit out you want to keep that rounded on that edge because that's what helps you keep some dimension to it all right now remember that little piece of black that we kept you're gonna snip a little piece to be your stem and this is just you randomly cutting the stem it does not there is no 
rhyme or reason for the stem shape. You can be whatever you want. In fact, that is super tiny, so I think I'm going to put it on with a blue dot. Oop. Or not. I'm going to have to cut it a little bit bigger because that envelope, it's not uh, stamped up cardstock, so it is not nearly as thick and nice. You probably have enough there if you wanted to make it into a jack-o'-lantern, you could do that as well. So I'm just going to peel that off and put it on by more by hand. Sticking that little black stem. Could I could you do green and a vine? Absolutely. I just wanted I'm for my card I wanted to stick it with the black. I wanted to keep that trim. Could you draw on a jack-o'-lantern face? Absolutely. But I want to show you if you come in and you just put you know some little highlights around the edges of these punches it kind of will create even more dimension and the chalk will slightly fade on you so that's kind of nice as well um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some little dots across this little black and you notice they're not being perfect. I'm doing that purposefully. They're just little random dots. I might put some up in here, whatever, just random little dots. Now on my black cat, you have some little lines and I really want to define him out a little bit more. So I'm just going to go over his little fur lines so you can really see that little face right there with my chalk marker. You might want to do that on the gray cat. You may not. You may want to leave it alone. If they have dark eyes like my little scaredy cat, you can always come in and put a little dot in their eye to give even more expression. See how just that little tiny added dot just really made those eyes come alive even more than they were before. And with your chalk marker, you're going to write your message to whomever you're giving it to. And then that card merely goes inside your, oops, I haven't put my cat on. Oh my goodness. Here again would be a great place to, if you have dimensionals, to use them. I am going to go ahead and just glue him on flat like he's creeping up on the pumpkin. All right. Now my card is ready to go into my little pocket. Oops. You know what? My card is not trimmed down to the right width. I quickly had to trim a card base because for whatever reason I didn't keep one for myself. Yours should fit. You might want to try that before you actually go to putting your stuff together. And if it doesn't, I apologize. You're going to have to trim it down. That's my bad. I'll owe you guys. But I did give you a chalk marker this month, so I hope you're excited about that. I love the chalk markers. You can do so many fun things with them. Now, again, with that little piece of extra black that you had... The other thing that you can do is create a little piece. And so you may want to keep a bigger piece off of there than so. And I think I'm actually going to just do it with a little bit of the snell because this envelope is, like I said, not as nice from a stand up point of view. But I'm just going to create a little pull tab. If you don't like the paper, don't worry. You can always um, also create a different pull tab, but you're going to end up with a pull tab like so. Now I'm going to show you a different method that you can do, but you will you will likely want to measure your ribbon off before doing this. But you can take your ribbon and the same principle. You're just going to adhere a little piece of the ribbon and put a little, a little adhesive on the back of here as well. And always, when you're doing a pull tab, 
Oh, I didn't get enough on that ribbon. Just give me a glue dot. Put it on with a glue dot. Not on the pocket envelope, Shannon. Yeah, I've had a crazy, crazy last week. Clearly, my brain has not recovered. So, that is easy, easy little ribbon pocket pull. You just want to have something hanging out so the person who receives it knows to pull it out. Apparently, recommend that you glue your cattail down really well. So that it doesn't fold in on itself when they pull it out. That you'd write your message in your chalk marker on your cute little car, cat card and there's your first card. Now to complete your cat scaredy cat theme you have a piece of the glittery gold ribbon and some twine. Now if you don't use this twine for the cup you can absolutely use it on your card or whatnot but I am going to go ahead and use both pieces around the cup. So uh, we're going to start with putting our cat on. And remember how I said you have a front and a back seam. So I just want to move that over, make sure that is on my back seam. So then I can put my cute little scaredy cat right on this front where the, where the tabs come together. If you had some of that fun spider webbing, that could be really fun. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of adhesive or glue dot. If you have white glue, it will work as well. Just put a dot of white glue up there. I'm mainly gonna put that because I want my, um, my little rim to stick and not move down. Now you're gonna sit your cup right here and you're gonna even it out and you're going to tie a knot. Look, it's like it's packaged. It's like it's already packaged. Again, you can do the twine here, you can add the twine there. What I'm gonna do with my twine, I'm gonna fold that in a loop, I'm gonna lay it underneath of there, and I'm going to run it back through, so it's around there, like what I call a lark's knot. And then I'm going to merely put my, um, my other purple oval. You could poach a hole on the end and let it dangle, but I'm just gonna put it right up there. And then I'm just gonna trim my little twine to match. So they're kind of, kind of going off of it at different angles to a frightfully good friend, and my little cat looks like he's very frightened at this point. So to a frightfully good friend, so you can see, you can see the top of that. There's my cute little cat who's scared to death. He's frightened of his good friend. Um, but it's all packaged with that cute little ribbon. The ribbon around the cup for me is what really makes that come alive like a little mini coffee cup. And then you've got your little pull out pumpkin and cat. Oh, look, my tail still wants to pop up. Little pumpkin and cat pocket card. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next month. Bye-bye.
comfortable on flat. Hmm. So let's see here what we have going on. Okay. And you will note that part of that oval is coming down and part of it's going above that, and that's how I want it. If you don't like it, you can always take your little scissors and you can come in and cut a little bit of it out, like so. Uh, but I don't really mind it. I'm gonna, but just to show you, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, oops, a little bit out. You wanna keep that rounded on that edge because that's what helps you keep some dimension to it. All right, now remember that little piece of black that we cut? You're gonna snip a little piece to be your stem. And this is just you randomly cutting the stem. It does not, there is no rhyme or reason for the stem shape. You can be whatever you want, in fact, that is super tiny, so I think I'm going to put it on with a blue dot. Okay. Or not. I'm going to have to cut it a little bit bigger because that envelope, it's not uh, stamped on cardstock, so it is not nearly as thick and nice. You probably have enough there if you wanted to make it into a jack-o'-lantern, you could do that as well. So I'm just going to peel that up and put it on by more by hand sticking that little black stem could I could you do green and a vine absolutely I just wanted I'm for my card I wanted to stick it with the black I wanted to keep that trim could you draw on a jack-o-lantern face absolutely but I want to show you if you come in and you just put you know some little highlights around the edges of these punches. It kind of will create even more dimension and the chalk will slightly fade on you. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some little dots across this little block and you notice they're not being perfect. I'm doing that purposefully. They're just little random dots. I might put some up in here, whatever, just random little dots. Now, on my black cat, you have some little lines and I really want to define him out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go over his little fur lines. So you can really see that little face right there with my chalk marker. You might want to do that on the gray cat. You may not. You may want to leave it alone. If they have dark eyes, like my little scaredy cat, you can always come in and put a little dot in their eye to give even more expression. See how just that little tiny added dot just really made those eyes come alive even more than they were before? And with your chalk marker, you're going to write your message to whomever you're giving it to. And then that card merely goes inside your, oops, I haven't put my cat on. Oh my goodness. Here again would be a great place to, if you have dimensionals, to use them. I am going to go ahead and just glue him on flat like he's creeping up on the pumpkin. All right, now my card is ready to go into my little pocket. Oops, you know what? My card is not trimmed down to the right width. I quickly had to trim a card base because for whatever reason I didn't keep one for myself. Yours should fit. You might want to try that before you actually go to putting your stuff together. And if it doesn't, I apologize. You're going to have to trim it down. That's my bad. I'll owe you guys. But I did give you a chalk marker this month, so I hope you're excited about that. I love the chalk markers. You can do so many fun things with them. Now, 
again, with that little piece of extra black that you had, the other thing that you can do is create a little piece. And so you may want to keep a bigger piece off of there than so. And I think I'm actually going to just do it with a little bit of the snell because this envelope is, like I said, not as nice from a stand up point of view. But I'm just going to create a little pull tab. If you don't like the paper, don't worry. You can always um, also create a different pull tab. But you're going to end up with a pull tab like so. Now I'm going to show you a different method that you can do. But you will you will likely want to measure your ribbon off before doing this. But you can take your ribbon and the same principle. You're just going to adhere a little piece of the ribbon and put a little a little adhesive on the back of here as well and always when you're doing a pull tab oh, i didn't get enough on that ribbon put it on with the glue dot not on the pocket envelope shannon yeah i had a crazy crazy last week clearly my brain has not recovered so that is easy, easy little ribbon pocket pull. You just want to have something hanging out so the person who receives it knows to pull it out. Apparently, I recommend that you glue your cat tail down really well. So that it doesn't fold in on itself when they pull it out. But you'd write your message in your chalk marker on your cute little car, cat card. And there's your first card. Now, to complete your cat, scaredy cat theme, you have a piece of the glittery gold ribbon and some twine. Now, if you don't use this twine for the cup, you can absolutely use it on your card or whatnot, but I am going to go ahead and use both pieces around the cup. So, uh, we're gonna start with putting our cat on. And remember how I said you have a front and a back seam? So I just want to move that over, make sure that is on my back seam. So then I can put my cute little scaredy cat right on this front where the, where the tabs come together. If you had some of that fun spider webbing, that could be really fun. And I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive or glue dot. If you have white glue, it will work as well. Just put a dot of white glue up there. I'm mainly going to put that because I want my, uh, my little rim to stick and not move down. Now you're going to sit your cup right here and you're going to even it out and you're going to tie a knot. Look, it's like it's packaged. It's like it's already packaged. Again, you can do the twine here. You can add the twine there. What I'm going to do with my twine, I'm going to fold that in a loop. I'm going to lay it underneath of there. And I'm going to run it back through. So it's around there, like what I call a lark's knot. And then I'm going to merely put my... Uh, other purple oval. You could poach a hole on the end and let it dangle, but I'm just going to put it right up there. And then I'm just going to trim my little twine to match. So they're kind of kind of going off of it at different angles. To a frightfully good friend, and my little cat looks like he's very frightened at this point. So to a frightfully good friend, so you can see you can see the top of that. There's my cute little cat who's scared to death. He's frightened of his good friend. Um, but it's all packaged with that cute little ribbon. The ribbon around the cup for me is what really makes that come alive like a little mini coffee cup. And then you've got your little pull out pumpkin and cat. Oh, look, my tail still wants to pop up. Little pumpkin and cat pocket card. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next month. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm done.
done.